I proposed the two days after your birthday. I guess at the same time as you were, I was also like saving up, making payments towards a ring for her as well. I was gonna propose to you on the day that we met, mm -hmm. which was a month after. My favorite part about being married to Kristen is basically, yeah, like my whole life has totally changed. Life is way, way, way more fun being with her than without her. I've never been that little kid that was like, oh, one day I'll be pregnant and I'll have a baby and like. And there I am where I'm like, I can't wait to be big enough where I could sit there with my cinnamon toast crunch bowl on my belly. Like, that's like, I don't know why that's been like a goal. I can't wait to be a mom. That's always been just a thing for me. And m m with my parents, like they were always just saying, when you, when you know, you will know. That's when, that's when you're ready. For me, my mom called it too. She's like, when you go out and everyone's drinking and you're like kind of bopping to the music and you're like, I could be pregnant. She's like, it's gonna hit you like a freight train and you're like, I could be pregnant. I should be pregnant. Well, I I'm feel gonna get pregnant. <laughs> it's like, it just hits you in this like weird way. I realized the whole time the reason why I always was kind of unsure about kids is because I physically didn't want to have them. I've never, oh, yeah. I've mm -hmm. never been that little kid that was like, oh, one day I'll be pregnant, I'll have a baby, and like. And there I am, where I'm like, I can't wait to be big enough where I could sit there with my cinnamon toast crunch bowl on my belly. <laughs> like, that's like, I don't know why that's been like a goal. I think the start of the process of having a baby, where it, you realize that I was, I was really ready. Where I, we were out. I don't know where we were maybe out at a party or mm -hmm. at like a, just a bar with like a couple of our friends and I was so bored. I was just kind of like sitting there like I was I was I was like hanging out with everybody but it just wasn't the same and she looked at me she was like you're bored aren't you? You're you're kind of done with this. And I said, "Listen, I I have done the party scene like we're married now. I'm kind of I'm I think I'm I'm really ready to have a baby." And she's like, "I want an October baby. Let's do it." And that's how it happened. And we started the process where we, you know, went on to uh, going to the gynecologist, yeah. and we went to um, this website called California Cryobank because that's where we were referred to. We started looking <laughs> at all the sperm donors and and looking at their baby pictures and everything. It's hysterical. It's really kind of like Facebook for like for third party donors for baby and daddies. For baby daddies, and we started looking. We picked our top five. We were recommended to an IVF you know, yeah. like treatment or a specialist, whatever you want to call it. And yeah. we went once and we kind of, I think, fum not fumbled through the first process, but it's very strange when you have the, the capability of carrying a child, but people are like, oh, you're gay. Oh, okay, that's great. All right, so this is what we do. And it was just, it was kind of strange because yeah. it was almost like, they were still treating me as like a single unmarried woman. They were like, okay, you're gonna get a third party donor and you're gonna go through this, th these hormones, this shot. The insemination process is, you know, so quick and, ev and everything. So quick. It's really, where I even asked her for the first time, I was like, make sure you record it. Nope, 15 seconds. She was like, I missed it. What happened? I don't understand. <laughs> My camera froze. Yeah. It froze for like two seconds and they were like, oh, okay, we're done. I was like, yeah. That was what do the you first mean? Round. What do you mean it's yeah. done? And she was like, you know what? Tomorrow, don't record it. Just be like in the moment. Just be there for it. I was like, yeah, that's what yeah. I would have rather. Because they <laughs> so fast. Because they inseminate you two days in a row. So you know they make sure that your body is in the right, in the right place at the right time mm -hmm. for your eggs and the sperm to meet, nat like you know as naturally as, natural as natural. forced is. But still, um, so they inseminate you back to back each day. Our first cycle, it didn't work. It yeah. didn't catch. Hi. Nervous? I'm really nervous. It's going to be okay, don't worry. Because next time you told me this, I just want to see how many people are in there. And this time there's nothing wrong, so it doesn't work this time. I'm going to be really, like, really, really upset that I'm feeling nervous. But then the second cycle. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how are you? Hi. Well, I did. A, I got a call from the doctor, and my beta levels are 241. What does that mean? I'm pregnant. Oh, and, oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Our parents' reactions when we told them that we were pregnant—they were exactly how we envisioned that they would 
happy. My parents were so excited. It was actually really, really nice. They were way more excited than I thought they were gonna be. My mom started like calling and texting yeah. people. I'm gonna be a grandma. She, like, was, she was really excited. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. That was one thing I think my mom, even from when I came out, and I think your mom too, yeah. she was like, I don't care that you're gay, but I'm having a grandkid. I don't care if it's one or 12, but I'm having a grandkid. And I was like, okay, sure. Yes, yes ma'am. <laughs> like that was her yeah. main thing. So now that it's really happening, it's huge, especially because we're both only children. So finding a donor that ma like matched with like both of our like biological needs was yeah, extremely important medically and emotionally too, because we want our children to be able to be biologically half siblings. So with the first round of IUI, this baby is biologically, you know, mine with my egg, his sperm, and then the next baby will be IVF with Heather's egg, his sperm, and then I would technically be the surrogate. You excited? So being vegan is like a huge part of our lives and we've been vegan for a year now and I have to tell you so many people told me that it would be difficult for me to get pregnant when I was vegan and and everything so it did it kind of frightened me in the beginning until I just learned we both did actually yeah. to just listen to my body and I I know what it needs and fruits and vegetables and and seeds and and nuts and every and beans. everything and beans right everything that's really healthy and really good for you is exactly what I needed and I was able to get pregnant being vegan and, and you know maintaining it again like I said in the beginning of our of my pregnancy I think I was nervous because so many people know what no conventional pregnancy they don't know anything different they don't know vegan pregnancy it's not like something that's talked about yeah and I have to say like there are days where if I'm like you know what I'm gonna have I'm gonna have eggs it just, again, your body just doesn't feel the same way as it yeah. does if you have an apple and an orange and fruits and everything. So it's something that's very important to me. Our baby, when the baby is born, they will be vegan. I will still be vegan. It's just a huge part of our lives because I think we're really invested in, you know, helping with the environment, with helping with just animal rights in general and helping with our bodies being the healthiest versions that they can be. I'm the most excited about being a parent because one, I have you to go through life with and I just know it's gonna be fun. I know we're gonna travel and we're gonna like experience n new things and I know we're gonna learn from our children. And I think that's what I'm the most ex like excited for because I feel like when children like just even play and do things, you, you can, they open your eyes to things that like you might not have Notice. Look at parents of gay children, even so, where if they're like, "Oh, oh, okay, I didn't know I could really love someone who was gay." It takes one one kid for them to for them to open their eyes to a whole world of acceptance. I'm super, super, super excited. Like, way more excited than I even thought that I was going to be, if that's possible. But I'm the most scared, really, just to mess up. I know there's no. God, I feel like everybody's parents, yeah, there's no rule book to parenting, there's no guide. I know there are tons of books. <laughs> there are that books have been that written. tell you exactly what not to do. <laughs> it's just, they're not like, here, do this. <laughs> exactly. But I'm, <laughs> I'm just nervous to mess up. I really am. But besides that, I'm, I'm super excited. What are you the most excited about? Though? I'm the most excited to meet the baby. Yeah? Yeah. It's basically like my whole world has just changed. I used to be somebody that never, ever, ever wanted to get married. And the fact that I'm married and the fact that we're going to have a child is absolutely mind-blowing to me. I'm so excited about it. Our strengths and weaknesses mold so well together that I'm really excited to start our family together because I really think that all of the good things that I feel from her, I can't wait to share with this baby because it's going to be able to like really learn what real love is, forgetting what society says like you know a family should be.